Being the tip of the spear of the Galactic Empire's brutality, Darth Vader earned himself a countless list of enemies who sought personal revenge against him over the atrocities he had committed. Among them was a woman named Chanath Cha, who stood out not only in her sheer devotion in achieving her revenge against the Sith Lord, but also in the complete humiliation and disrespect she experienced once she finally faced him. Her vengeful journey began a few months following the rise of the Empire, when a 12-year-old Chanath aided her parents on a bounty supposedly placed on a surviving Jedi. Unknown to them, however, their target was actually Darth Vader, who was wanted dead by several high-ranking Imperials who detested the mysterious and unnerving Dark Lord. Devising a trap, the Cha family lured Vader alongside the Ninth Sister to a bar by making a false report of a Jedi sighting. Ordering the Inquisitor to remain outside, Vader entered the bar alone and demanded the whereabouts of the sighted Jedi. Confirming him as their target, the Cha family sprang into action, with Chanath disarming the Sith Lord using a tractor rifle, which pulled his weapon toward her. Immediately reacting to the attack, Vader used the Force to reclaim his lightsaber, causing it to shatter under the pressure of the two opposing forces. As this was happening, the mother threw an ion grenade toward the center of the bar, temporarily disrupting all electronics within the vicinity, leaving only their modified gear unaffected. Believing the Jedi before them was at their mercy without his lightsaber to attack or defend with, the family soon realized how wrong they were when Vader quickly recovered from the ion blast. Using the Force, Vader took hold of nearby patrons and launched them at his ambushers. Activating their personal energy shields at the last second, the Cha family remained unharmed as the bodies splattered right before them. Returning blaster fire, Vader defended himself by once again using the nearby patrons and furniture with the Force to block their shots. Realizing that they stood no chance against him, the family began to flee. Taking a speeder parked outside the bar to make their escape, Vader chased them down on a speeder bike after seizing the Ninth Sister's lightsaber to replace his own. Gaining on them, the Sith Lord used the Force to hurl a transport at the family, who survived the collision by activating their energy shields once again. As they were exiting the wreckage, Vader took hold of Chanath with the Force and threatened to kill her if the parents didn't reveal the source of the bounty placed on him. Reluctantly agreeing to do so only if their daughter was spared, Chanath was released from his grip and made to swear by her parents, not to seek revenge to ensure that the Sith Lord had no reason to hunt her in the future. After confirming that the source of the bounty came from the offices of Imperial High Command, Vader murdered her parents in cold blood right in front of Chanath, thus igniting her lifelong obsession in avenging her family. Over the course of the next two decades, Chanath trained to become an expert killer and acquired any knowledge she could on the Dark Lord to increase her chances of beating him. During this time, she worked as a bounty hunter, eventually earning a reputation high enough that she was among the few hunters Emperor Palpatine personally employed on occasions he needed tasks taken care of in secret. Although Chanath purposely took these jobs from the Emperor in hopes of getting the opportunity to get near Vader, it never materialized. Funny enough, at one point, she was hired for a secret bounty mission among others by a disguised contact who was in fact Darth Vader. Nonetheless, she eventually formed a crew called the Orphans, which consisted of four members connected by their shared loss of family, including a droid named Lady Bright, who was the last of her factory line's production. The four of them later formed bonds and saw each other as a new family. During the period between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Chanath and the Orphans joined Crimson Dawn's crusade against the Galactic Empire led by Kira. Building upon the foundations laid out by Maul and continuing his plans following his death, Kira brought together various underground factions that despised the Sith's rule over the galaxy, uniting them toward the common goal of eliminating the two Sith Lords using any means necessary. The Orphan's primary contribution was sowing havoc among the top crime syndicates and families, targeting their various operations and destroying them in a manner that had the crime lords believe that they were committed by their main adversaries, igniting a war between them that Crimson Dawn used as cover for their own plans. Eventually, Chanath and the Orphans received a call from Kira. She needed them to make an immediate rescue of two of her operatives, who were currently under attack by none other than Darth Vader himself. Finally, after 20 years, the opportunity Chanath had dedicated her entire life for had come. She and her crew arrived right as Vader was about to kill the two that they had come to rescue. 
Shouting the Sith Lord's name, Vader's attention turned to Chinath and the orphans standing before him. She announced herself to him, declaring her lack of fear and readiness after all of these years. Darth Vader simply stared at her, genuinely confused about what was even happening and why this random woman thought he would care, let alone ask if she was afraid. Seeing his confusion, she asked if he even knew who she was and what he meant to her. Realizing that she was there to throw hands, Vader answered her saying that she was dead and he was her death. But before fighting him, Chanath took a moment to give her entire backstory, from how he killed her parents and the hate that it caused within her, to tirelessly learning his abilities and then training and countering him, and everything that she had done to locate him all of these years, finishing her monologue off by stating that he should prepare to die today by her hand. Vader stood unfazed, taking a moment to think of a good roast. Then he dropped it, responding how she had spent her entire life on a crusade against him that he was entirely unaware of, a crusade which had zero effect on him whatsoever, and in all that time she had stopped nothing for him, while in return he prevented her from doing everything in her life, choosing her obsession of hunting him above all else. And even now, despite all of her effort and sacrifice, he had already forgotten her name. Then, as Vader prepared to attack, Chanath called out to her droid who emitted a powerful flash which disrupted the Sith Lord's helmet visors. As he was recovering, Chanath threw a grenade at him which burst acid upon Vader when he attempted to block it with his lightsaber. In response, Vader used a force push, throwing the entire group back along with the equipment and debris around them. He then turned off his lightsaber and casually walked into the ocean behind him to remove the acid burning his suit. While Vader was out for a swim, the orphans used this time to get the two operatives that they were sent to rescue onto their ship, alongside the ancient Sith weapon that they were working on which was essential to Kira's plan to kill Palpatine. Two of the orphans escorted them back to the ship, while the other one stayed behind with Chanath, who still wished to kill Darth Vader, or at the very least hold him off long enough for the others to escape. As Vader returned from the water, round two of the fight began. Also, as a side note, throughout this fight, Chanath repeatedly shouted her name, hoping to ingrain it in Vader's mind so he would never forget. Nevertheless, activating her personal energy shield, Chanath was momentarily protected from the Sith Lord's ranged attacks, but her friend was not so fortunate, with Vader grabbing a hold of her body with the force and tossing her so hard against the debris that the impact killed her instantly. With Vader turning his attention toward Chanath, he began mocking her as he closed his distance, asking her where were those tactics and trainings that she was boasting about earlier, and taunting over how she wasted her entire life for such an underwhelming performance against him. As Vader prepared to give a finishing blow, he was shot from afar, losing a hand. Offended by such a cowardly attack, his focus turned toward the new attacker's direction. Seeing the blaster fire coming from one of the other orphans who was atop their ship sniping at him, Vader used the force to push the ship upwards, tilting it up just enough to have the sniper fall off into the forest below, taking her out of the fight as she hit the ground. Lady Bright, the droid of the orphans, not wishing to lose another family, decided to turn the ship around to try and save Chanath. When Chanath saw this, she felt despair, not wanting her new family to die over her personal quest for revenge. Then, the ship turned back fleeing once more. Seeing this, Vader mocked her again over how she clearly meant nothing to her friends who had left her to die. On the other hand, Chanath was relieved, believing her newfound family would live another day. This spark of joy overcame whatever hate she had held onto all her life, leaving her content with the fact that she had no chance of ever defeating Darth Vader. Completely unaware of the depressing reason the ship had truly turned around, Chanath didn't resist as Vader moved towards her and cut her down, with her dying in peace despite utterly failing her life's mission. As her body fell before him, Vader shouted his own name, mimicking her arrogance of doing the same throughout their battle. Back on the ship, Lady Bright was scrap metal, having been completely ripped apart by one of the agents they had rescued, who refused to risk losing the ancient Sith weapon to save Chanath. To add even further insult to injury to Chanath and her life, Kira, upon learning of the orphan's fate, used her as an example of how to manipulate while mentoring a member of her inner circle. Chanath's delusion was thinking that she was the main character of a story and that it was going to end with her avenging her parents by killing Darth Vader, 
was exploited by Kira for her own purposes, and that Chinath was in fact nothing more than a pawn in Kira's own story. And finally, Chinath's sacrifice of holding off Vader to prevent Kira from losing the ancient Sith weapon ultimately amounted to nothing, as it failed in killing either of the Sith Lords, with Crimson Dawn's entire crusade eventually being crushed by the Empire prior to Return of the Jedi.